Hello, this is Jerry from Quilt Crazy. This video is to explain the use of the link function in Qbot V3 Pro. When to use it, when not to use it, how and why. Uh, first, the why. Uh, the link command in uh, V3 Pro Designer allows you to collect two or more designs into a single design. You can then save that connected design and use it like any other design in Designer or in pattern quilting. There doesn't seem to be a limit to how many designs you can link together. Once the design is linked, it can be manipulated just like any other design. You can size it, rotate it, stretch it, etc. Although once linked and saved, you cannot unlink the individual elements or manipulate one portion of the element in the design. You can only unlink and change the link type until you save the new created design. One thing to keep in mind is the order you select the designs to link. The link command will connect the designs in the order that you selected them, regardless of how you place them on the screen. So select them in the order that they will be when completed. Select them from left to right. Then on the screen, you can move the designs to the proper place. If, for instance, you were to take and select designs one, two, and three, and then move the third design in between the first and second one, the link will still go from the first design to the second design, and you'll have a line going across the third design, and then from the second design back to the third design again. So it would really make it un unusable. There are three types of links, straight line, curve line, and automatic snap. You do not have to link designs in Qbot. If you do not, then Qbot will do a jump stitch. Uh, Qbot will pause after the first design so you can tie off. Then you select continue. The head will move to the start of the second design and will pause. It lets you time to pull the bobbin thread up. When you select go, the next design will be stitched and the process will start over again until completed. So first let's look at the straight line link. So um, there are times when uh, uh, straight line link works and sometimes the straight line link doesn't work. There's times when none of the three selections of links uh, is appropriate. Uh, and we'll go through some of those. The first one is going to be um, when you would probably not use uh, the straight line link. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick two elements that have the start and stop points on the same horizontal line and a third one where it is not on the same horizontal line so you can see what happens when that when you do that so we'll go to designer we'll mark our quilting area and again if you don't have Qbot's uh, uh, laser I strongly strongly suggest that you get it uh, it's very reasonably priced uh, it's rechargeable, battery operated, and the battery really lasts for a really long time. Um, I do a lot of quilts, and I only have to recharge my battery about once every two weeks, and it only takes like about an hour. Um, the laser is a focus laser, so it's a very bright, very clean uh, circle um, where it works. So um, we're going to, we've got it done. Let's pick our designs. And again, we're going to pick two that are correct and one that is not. So we'll go back to our cottages again. And we're going to do this one, then this one, then we'll use this one right here. All right. So let's uh, put them to the correct size. And of course, 100 is not always the correct size, unless you've, unless you've saved it before, of course. Um, But I've already made these a size ahead of time so that I didn't have to uh, mess around with figuring out what size to make them. So we're going to put the first one uh, at the left. Now, unlike the automatic link, you can start this anywhere that you want. Wherever you put that first design is where it's going to start quilting. And you can put the second design as far away or as close as you like. Um, it's going to make a line. Now, what you do want to do in this one, unlike the automatic, is you want to have these lined up pretty close pretty well because it's going to draw a straight line between this first element and this and the second element 
and if they're not straight on line, your line's not going to be straight. All right, now we'll take our third element, and let's, uh, let's say that the element is, the star is this way. Uh, we would never do this, but this is just to show you what would happen if you have something that's not. So, we've got the three set up. We set done, and we're going to select straight line. Now, you notice that it's made a, it's connected the first and the second element with a straight line. Between the end of the second element and the beginning of the third element, it also drew a straight line. In this case, the straight line went right over the top of the element itself. So, uh, this is why it's important, if you're using straight line, that the individual elements need to have the start and stop points on the same horizontal line. All right, so this obviously we would never, we would never, I don't know how we'd ever use this combination anyway, but the point is you can see what happens if the start and stop points are not on the same line. So let's go back and let's do one the right way. And we'll go back to designer again on the quilt. Use our laser so we can be super accurate even though in this demo I'm not necessarily being super accurate to make things faster for you. You don't have to listen to me yapping quite as long. All right, we've got our area. Now let's select our patterns. And we're going to do kind of the same three that we did, but all three of these this time have the same start and stop points uh, same on the same horizontal line that is. So we're done. Uh, again, we'll put these uh, to the appropriate size. All right, and now what I'm going to do here is I picked them. Uh, this one I picked first, this one I picked second, this one I picked third. What I'm going to show you why it's important to pick them in the correct order. So we're going to put the third one in line with after the first one, and the second one after the first one, after the second one, excuse me. Third one after the second one. All right, so it looks good. They're all in line properly. And when you go straight line, um, although on this one you may not be able to tell quite as much, but there's actually a double line underneath that second element. That's because, and you'll notice that the start point is on the far left and the end point is in the middle. Because what it's done is it's made a line from the stop point of the first element to the start point of the third element. Then it made another line from the start the end of the third element to the beginning of the second element and then back over to the right again. So that, that line that's on the bottom of the second element is actually three deep. Um, and uh, that's not the way you need to do it. And the reason is that Qbot is going to link these based on the order that you selected them, not the order that's on the screen. So let's modify this and let's put these back where they belong in the same order that we picked them. And we'll kind of space them out a little bit here. And let me move this up just a smidgen. All right, now when we say straight line, you notice that our start point is on the left of the first element and it's on the right of the last element. So we have now created a new element that has these three elements in it. Now this particular design would be chainable. So if we were to save this and call this chainable, And we could use, we could, of course, if we want to do more of them, we can actually modify this and we can, oops, we got to go back to the saved one, not, not the one we had. When you move the, when you go to the modify, it does, it disregards the save part. All the save parts are already there. So let's, oops, error there. Let's go back. We use pattern quilting this time. Uh, again, we'll mark our area.
Now I'm moving this a lot faster than you would if you're do really quilting. Um, you need to, you don't need to go at a snail's pace, but you need to go fairly slow. Uh, there's a little wheel on the motor as you move the head back and forth. That wheel is doing uh, moving um, a segment on the inside that you Qbot uses to calculate how far you've moved. And if you move it really fast, it can miss some of those counts, and you may not end up with your design lining up properly. So you want to move it slow, but not you know incredibly slow. All right, so now what we're going to do, we've got our area. Since I'm not actually quilting, so it's not going to hurt anything. Um, let me go back and do our saved. Um, where to go? Saved. And there's the one that we just saved. We modify it, put it back at 100%. Move it over here. And now we have a chainable design. So that's how the straight line uh, link works uh, when it works and when it doesn't work. Uh, if you have uh, designs that do not uh, have things on a straight line, um, you could have, let's we'll go over and do one more on this one. Let's back up, start back to the beginning again. Oop, too far to the beginning. All right, we're going to go designer on the quilt. Mark our design area. Then we're going to pick two designs that uh, this would be a case where you would not use the linking. Uh, we'll pick this one and uh, uh, I don't know, we'll pick this one. All right, two designs. Again, it doesn't matter how many you do, there's no sense in putting more, wasting more of your time. So all right, so we'll move these over here. So these, the actual, you'll see the start and stop point on the first design is absolutely not on line with the one in the second. So when we go done and we go straight line, you can see what just happened. It's moved, made a line from the beginning, from the end of the first element to the beginning of the second element crossing over itself. <coughs> so this design is uh, virtually unusable. It's just an illustration of a time when you would not use the straight line or the automatic snap. Um, uh, in this case, you might use the curved line design and you might just leave it alone and uh, let Cubot do a jump stitch on it. All right, so that's how you do the straight line design and when you don't do it. Again, uh, it critically important in anything you're going to link, the order that you select the designs is incredibly important. Uh, if you select them out of order, um, you're going to get results that you do not like. So I hope these are uh, useful to you. Uh, that covers all three of the different kinds of uh, links. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, send me an email. It's quilt at quiltcrazy.biz. That's B-I-Z. Um, I'll be happy to answer it. Uh, or uh, if you have specific questions, uh, you can send me your phone number and I'll be happy to give you a call. Uh, again, this is Jerry from Quilt Crazy. Uh, I hope this was useful to you. Uh, if you liked it, please click on the like and uh, subscribe to my channel. You'll get some more. I've, I'm going to do another video yet here uh, in a couple days. All right. Thanks, folks.